beer. What time is it? Quarter past seven. Kettle's on. And it's freezing. It's even cold in here. Can't read that temperature, me, but there you go. But in there, old. I've just brought these uh, few tomatoes up here. Oh, it's all right, it's warm in here. I've just brought these few tomatoes up just for trying because we've got loads at home, so. <coughs> I'll put them in this, this tunnel here when I saw this veggie out in a minute. These them tumbling toms that are going in there. I'll get them put it in there. And there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven that come up. Is that right? No. Oh. Nine, there. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So we've got six to come up. We've got two giant ones which are going each side of the door here. So that's two. Then we've got two more. Anyway, we've got a good variety here. We've got two different kinds of beef steak, two alicante. Two Tigerella, two Black Cherry, and them two Tumbling Toms. So we'll be able to fill this. But what I'm going to do is, because if you look in here, I left ventilation right bottom, it don't touch, it's about an inch off the floor all the way around. It's for good ventilation for the tomatoes, and it works good for them in summer, but it's not quite summer yet, so I got something off my neighbour when he was uh, tidying his shed, bubble wrap, three brand new rolls. I'm going to tuck it down the back of here with the gaps of both sides, just to help keep a bit of that heat in it and that. It's not going to be red hot this week and it's going to cool down again at the weekend next week, so it's up and down this weather. But these seem to be okay, and it's been minus one a couple of nights. So if I insulated a bit more, these should be okay. Right, let's go and get that kettle. Pete, that's all our veg in that cold frame now. <coughs> Cause it's got a lifting window on this frame. It's off a cabin, some kind of workman's cabin, I think. But that's in, it's obviously. So I've just got it wedged open here. So a bit of air in. But that's all our beetroot, collar. Cabbage, broccoli, lettuce, spring onions, and that love lies bleedings in there as well. I'll be all right, but before I go today, I'll shut that because there's a bit of ergos that gets in anyway, there's gaps everywhere. So hopefully, them rodents will keep off that. Have they been keeping off here? Yeah, it looks like it. I'll give them a water in a minute too. Uh, so in here now, there's a bit more room. Got, uh, what have we got? Uh, two, four, six, eight, nine tomatoes in there that are going in here. We've got two more at home. So we'll need a couple more for in here. I've left them beans in there because they can be all right and them sweet peas. But if they need be, they can move into there. There's plenty of room in there. Yeah, I've just watered that tray, so that'll be all right. So I'll just come back at week and check them. But if it's going to be cool, they should be all right. Shouldn't need watering them till I get on. Hopefully they'll be okay in there. So I have a bit more room at home now, isn't that? Yeah, it's not much room, but a bit more. Uh, yeah, there's some room left in there if we need to put them uh, sweet peas and that in. Eight. No. I don't get the rest of them King Eddies in. There's about seven rows put in. So I'll get them in all it is. Dig a trench, drop them in, fill it up. Seven rows.
Here's that stem in. Got seven rows, three in each row. What's that? Three sevens, 21. Yeah, sounds right, doesn't it? So we should get about five pound out of each spud then, can get it. If we grow them right. So I fill it all, I thought I'd just give it a pepper with the last of that uh, blood fishing bone. But I put some uh, chicken pellets in it all anyway. So yeah, that should keep it a bit warmer, that in here now. As you could feel a draft coming through because uh, that's how I made it. Plenty of ventilation. Not like that one, that's got automatic lifters on. So it vents when it has to. This is more or less vented all the time. Because you need that airflow with tomatoes. Stop them getting blight and that. There's the guru. Guru now about. So I need a label for that now, so I'm going to label and uh, I'm going to put them in the, in the, and I'm going to label. Right, that's about it for up here. Uh, back to work tonight. I've just watered them, watered them carrots, watered them carrots outside. I put some water in them trays. We'll go and see how much room we've got to, to, uh, in that shed now. We'll just put that. You all right? <laughs> oh, well, I'll just put that now. I've, I've lost my moss. I've just picked some moss up from the pond and I've lost it. I'll find it in a minute. See you back up there. Boom. Back home. Just don't like all flowers. This camellia started coming out. Got a good few buds everywhere. That needs to come out of there. That rhododendron, it'll never uh, flower there. Because it's in the shed. These azaleas have just started. That pink one. This red one. This other, I think this is dark pink. It's just starting there now, but that's a bit later. That one. What I was doing with that moss, I've just got from a lot. I keep taking it off stones and out pond and trying to fill that gap there because I can't get across. Because them uh, things that hang over, they fell in. They're in the bottom of the pond somewhere. And I can't get over there. I don't want to stand on the bottom and put some bricks through, you know what I mean? So any road that moss should grow there, once that water catches it. It'll grow like more time like this. Let's get in there. Put in that square block there. And yeah, a bit more room in there now. So I won't get that sweet corn, that's all come through now proper. I won't get that up top there, get it more sun. They're going up the allotment. They're for greenhouse. They're going up the allotment. They're the big tomatoes. A Roma for the greenhouse and an Alicante. We want another big tomato for up greenhouse. And then the rest of them are spur. Cucumbers and pumpkins there. So. I'm going to get in there, what is it? There's no heater on at the minute. 17 pack one, so it's not so bad. Keep that door closed. Yeah, so they're all going apartment. These are spur, these are with tomatoes here, giants. There's four spur ones. Uh, three spur ones, sorry. Cucumbers doing all okay. uh, Yeah. Is that locker? Yeah, that tobacco's doing all okay. And then peppers are on top there, uh, so we're getting plenty sun. 
Yeah, so that sweet corn can come up here now, so I'll leave all these big tomatoes along and get that sweet corn up here because it's uh, more or less all come through now. So I'll day up here and that should all pop through. So I'll crack on with that. What are you doing? My little shadow. Can't go anywhere without him. Sit down, lad. Sit down. Good lad. Right, so all these sweet corn, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen pops through up to now, but I think the rest of them will come through. Twenty, sorry. Yeah. So they planted thirty, so ten more to come through. But this will pop through today. Plenty water and uh, I planted a couple of these uh, just for a trial. They're only very small. These uh, where are tobacco. I'm gonna get that in there. Yeah, them tobacco. I just pricked a couple out and uh, sort them in these pots and they seem to be standing up okay. So it's just for a try and we've plenty to go at if they go wrong. But we've been in the 24 hours now, uh, 12 hours, so they'll eat them okay. Hopefully, I'll tell you what, we'll get some earth to them roots because they're nice and wet in there, so we'll see how them go. And a bit of a uh, pumpkin over there. It's not a pumpkin, is it? What is it? A cucumber. See them there, let dry out a bit. See them go on, we'll stick them back at water later. That celery's uh, getting up there, and all them peppers that I planted have come through. So, as I said, they're the same as them ones up there, but I've no names for them. So hopefully when they grow, I should have some names, so we'll sit down, lad. Come in in a minute. And that's about it. So, boom. Leave these till later on, give them a good water. But, uh, it's 20 degrees in here, so I'm going to open that door. Leave it open for a bit. Let some air in. It's up and nice and strong, them sweet corn. Come on, lad. He's on. I'm admiring somebody else. It says a pumpkin leaf. Winner, winner, that. Right. That's only about half full now. Need some rain soon. That one's empty. Needs setting up. And that plant goes in that corner. So that's about it. Till next week. I uh, don't know what we'll be doing next week. Now we're planting some veg, hopefully. See what weather's like. See you later.